Hi, this is Ebony Thompson, Tourism and Marketing Director for the Calhoun County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome into the Community Connection TV show. Welcome back, folks, to another great episode of the Community Connection TV show serving Calhoun County and surrounding areas. Calhoun County, of course, primarily on Cable One Channel 2, 7 p.m. every Thursday night. And, of course, we want to welcome in our Facebook viewers who are catching us that may be on the Dish Network or not on Cable One or maybe you didn't have time to catch it on Thursday night. We appreciate you for tuning in on Facebook. We know we get views from Lincoln and Talladega and Gadsden and Heflin, of course, and right here in Calhoun County. Welcome all of you in tonight to listen in to our great episode. We've got a really good guest that's really got a unique message for you tonight, and that is Pastor Kent Maddox from Word Alive International Outreach, otherwise known as WAIO. And it's in the great, great, great area of Coldwater, Alabama, for those of you who know where Coldwater is. Of course, just about everybody should. <laughs> But uh, the, the water's cold, too. It is that. Uh, but, Kent, we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule because, I mean, the church is big. You have a lot of responsibility. You minister to a lot of needs in the community and uh, outside the community as well, well. it's a pleasure to be here. We're really, really excited about your show, uh, Connecting the Community. It's a great show, and congratulations. You're doing a great job. We thank you. We thank you. We wanted to invite you on. And it's very important to our heart that we invited you on because of something that we found out is coming up. Okay. We found out that you at your church and Pastor Jerry Irwin at Harvest Church of God are about to swap pulpits for a Sunday. We are, actually, this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday. This coming Sunday. We're, uh, we're going to swap pulpits, and I'm going to go there to Harvest Church of God and preach, and Jerry's going to come to Word Alive and preach. And we're pretty excited about it. We really had a... For years, I've had a passion, you know, that uh, the body of Christ is the body of Christ. Yes. It's not uh, Methodist or Baptist or Church of God or Pentecostal or whatever denomination right. it may be. That together, obviously, we have different understandings doctrinally. Sure. But we found that we have so much more in common right. than, we, than we disagree about. Right. And so we just realized that sooner or later, somebody needed to take a step of faith. I'm not saying others have it. I'm just saying sure. for us, sure. we wanted to take a step of faith and say we want to demonstrate our desire for unity uh, and and community and that is why not I mean we are the body of Christ and uh, Jerry and I just got together and prayed about it and thought well this would be a good step of faith for us to take as two churches and so that's exactly what we're gonna do Jesus last prayer before he died in John 17 was I pray that you would be one as I and the Father are one and we realize that is a prayer that's going to be answered. Mm -hmm. And in our community here locally, there's so many great churches and great yeah. pastors and great leaders from different denominations. And right. each and every one of us have our niche, our yoke, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, rabbinical term for our teaching, our, our doctrine that sure. we teach. But we all have a couple things in common. We all love God. Right. And we all love this community. Right. And we all, we all believe that God sent us to this community sure. to make a difference. And sure. so realizing that, that we, as your goal is to bring this community together through your television show and mm -hmm. through your endeavors, then we felt like if we could begin with the, with the community of faith, if we as the community of faith begin to find out what can we do together, what can we do corporately right. uh, as the body of Christ to show our faith in, our, in the God we serve right. and in our community, what in the world could we accomplish if we started doing things corporately and together? And so, right. you know, we've got some wild dreams that, you know, one day we could maybe have a worship uh, 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 day in the, one of the stadiums, you know, where all the churches come together and yeah. all of our different uh, 
uh, backgrounds to worship That'd God together. Maybe we could do a, a community-wide uh, food packing event. You know, we're involved in that now to where you can pack literally, you know, 100 or 200,000 meals to be shipped overseas in a yeah. day. Uh, what, whatever we could do. Uh, we want to do some features on that on the show, Very, too. very exciting. We want to let just people to, know about that and put some plugs out for that. We just really believe that, you know, that it's in, and it's in all most of the pastors I talk to. It's in their heart to do. Yeah. It's just, like you said, you know, everybody gets busy, you know, doing what we do in a lot of responsibility pastor in a church with your local congregation but but it's exciting that a lot of pastors are, are now wanting to take a step of faith to say hey we can we yeah. can do this we can we can we can we can connect together as a community exactly and I'm, and I'm sure there's been other endeavors that's happened this connect different connections mm -hmm. but you know to me this is a forerunner movement I mean from what I've heard of and seen and been exposed to and I'm excited. Well, we're I excited mean, about it as well. I am. I mean, I want to be at both churches, so I haven't figured that one out yet. I know we're at a lot of it's two services, and Harvest probably has two. So yeah, theirs is at 10 o'clock. run at one. And run. Yeah. But anyway, we, if we could split our stuff in half, man, I'd love to be at both. Uh, that is incredible, just the fact of the unity working together. Uh, even churches, I mean, many churches have differences, like you said, on doctrinal differences. Hey. The Bible says, all who, upon, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we know that if we're Christian, if, we're, if we call on Christ in faith and belief that he's our Savior, that's number one. Right. That unifies us. I mean, if you don't like how the other person believes, uh, let's not major on the minors. And that's what you've taught and preached. You know, don't major on the minors. But let's, let's agree on what we can agree on. And that's salvation and God and God's love is for all. Well, I look at churches like restaurants, and I know that may not sound like too kosher, but <laughs> you know that that's just true. There's there's different flavors, there's different varieties, right. and you know I don't like everything at every restaurant. Right. But normally I can find something at a restaurant that yeah. I, that I do like. Right. And I think that's the same. I mean, uh, I love the I love the Episcopal and the Methodist and the uh, uh, Presbyterian. I love the liturgy. Yes. I love the reverence. I love the honor that they exude toward the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, the Baptist. I really appreciate their strong commitment to mm -hmm. the Word of God, mm -hmm. and and obviously the hospitals they've built, and the buildings right. they've built, and the differences they've made in the right. community. The witnessing I, door to door. Absolutely, their their heart for evangelism. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the Pentecostals and their fervent worship yes. and their desire to to see the miraculous and mm -hmm. to see the, the the Spirit move. I love the Catholics. I love mm -hmm. their heart for the poor. Yeah, that they that they are all about serving the poor and taking care of the poor. Uh, I, I love our church, you know, from our mm -hmm. concept of freedom and recovery and that right. everyone's welcome. And, right. uh, you know, you can be a recovering addict to a businessman, to black, to white, to Hispanic. And I mm -hmm. love the culture that we've created, yes. uh, a, a seeker friendly, for lack of better words, uh, that, sure. that's a term that most people would be familiar with. Just a place it's easy to access the yeah. kingdom of God. And so when you start looking at what you appreciate about each other, mm -hmm. not maybe less than what you don't agree about, you see that, gosh, there's no reason that we can't do do things together. And right. so we, we, we we're, I'm not, I don't know if it's happened before, I'm sure it has, but uh, we felt like Sunday morning was a, uh, a cool time to do it because that's a very important day for pastors. You want to be there for your church on Sunday morning. So right. we didn't want to do it on a Wednesday night or right. a, a Sunday night. We want to say we want to take a step of faith and say like on our day, the main day. like on our big day, day, we're willing to say, hey, I trust you with our congregation and you trust me with your congregation just to speak the Word of God mm -hmm. and uh, and to encourage and, and bless one another. And so That's we're great. we're looking forward to it and we think it'll be a great time. So I really appreciate Jerry Orman's heart to do yes. it. And uh, he's a fantastic preacher. I have always enjoyed listening to Brother Jerry. He's uh, fantastic. I, I don't know if the TV show still comes on, but I know years ago the show would come on and I would watch it and just, I'd be ready to get up out of my seat, you know. And just, yeah! You well, know. he was a pioneer so. in, in Christian television. I think he was actually one of the first uh, in our area to uh, to broach uh, the subject of going on television as a preacher, and this was like back in the early '70s, I wow. believe, when he actually took that took that step of faith. And recently, when we uh, were meeting together and having some prayer time together, I didn't realize that Harvest Church is uh, about to celebrate, if I'm not mistaken, their hundredth year as, as a as a church. I mean, that's wow. a, that church has been around a long, long, long time. Wow and got deep, deep roots in our community. So yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. To, it's an honor for me to get to go there. You know, actually, that's where I was uh, 
that's where I met Christ back in 1984. Okay. Was at Harvest Church of okay. God. Okay. Okay. And I yeah, because you used to yeah. I, I went there to a, there. Yeah, there was a young man preaching at a revival meeting, and that's where I came to Christ. And so they're part of my destiny, part of my heritage. Right. And so it's a treat to get to go back there and. Uh, and to uh, spend mm -hmm. time at a place that's had such a such an impact yeah. on my life, and of course, many people from our church have been greatly influenced by Pastor Jerry Orwin's preaching yes. and teaching, and so they're excited about him right. coming to us too. And, so. and, and just a shout out to uh, Pastor Michael Cox. You know, that's where my wife first heard you. Wow! Before the, the another church, great church and the, great pastor. Yeah, before the church ever started. Uh, back, this was probably back about uh, 1999, 2000, somewhere in that neighborhood. You were evangelizing the area, and uh, for some reason, I was working or something on second shift, and she was at that revival, and you preached it, and that was the first time she'd ever met you, and she was like, "He it really is great. <laughs> I enjoyed you. his preaching." And so that encouraged me to kind of get exposed to your church and 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 and, and it made me more well more uh, uh comfortable mm -hmm. to go visit and check out what you had going on there so and i remember the first time i visited word alive uh was new year's eve the first new year's eve service and i saw uh, uh black jazz musicians i saw uh white gospel singers i saw rocking worship i mean i saw a lot of things going on and it was all in in, in spirit hmm. you know it was all for god it wasn't look at what i can do right it was for the lord and and i I'll just there was a peace man it just it's just unexplainable but anyway that's that's a little bit of a uh, uh, going back into the retro time period. <laughs> cool. But folks, it's already time to take take our first uh, business spotlight break, so st stay with us. Kent, hang out with us All just right, for a thank moment. You. And uh, folks, we'll be right back, so don't touch that dial. And if you're on the internet, don't touch that mouse. And stay connected. Welcome to Burgess Chiropractic. Are you suffering from severe lower back and leg pain, neck pain, arms and hands tingling? Have you been told that you've got to live with it because there's no other alternative except surgery? Give Burgess Chiropractic a call. They use the unique Burgess method. To find out if you qualify for their unique method, please give them a call today. The only thing that you may have to lose will be your pain and suffering. If you haven't tried the Burgess method, you haven't tried everything. Call Mr. Dan's Plumbing for all your plumbing needs. Mr. Dan's Plumbing also services your septic needs and provides portable toilet services. That's Mr. Dan's Plumbing at 256-835-0244. Servicing residential and commercial accounts. Welcome back, folks. We appreciate you for staying tuned to the Community Connection TV show. And if you're just now tuning in, we have our special guest, Pastor Kent Maddox from Word Alive International Outreach in Coldwater, Alabama, otherwise known as WAIO. Uh, they have a big uh, hand that reaches out into the community on a lot of different levels. They have a hand that reaches out in different nations, which is, which is something that really impresses me as well. And uh, especially one thing that just brings something that came back to my memory just immediately was back in the tornado season when mm. all the tornadoes hit, and, and 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 the church was so blessed to be able to to be able to be a blessing to so many people, and God just provided you know to 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 the church through the church and, and many other churches as well 
But I just remember what an impact that God allowed the church to have on helping those people, you know. It was really an exciting time, uh, Mark, uh, to see the churches come together. And we obviously got to be part of it as first responders to the uh, tornado victims in our own area. Yeah. But uh, as first responders there working with the uh, different agencies, we begin to see churches from the community rally together. Mm -hmm. Churches begin to host families, uh, begin to be drop-off sites, rallying troops to bring uh, goods and water and supplies. And it was amazing that literally to see the body of Christ come together at that point, because it was a crisis, mm -hmm. we laid down our our doctrinal issues, we laid down our maybe likes or dislikes of a style of worship, right. and we said, "Look, we've got we've got a mission. We've got yeah. something to accomplish that needs our 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 efforts put together." Yes. And then in Birmingham, you know, in in that area, they actually I've heard from the uh, uh, FEMA, I believe it was uh, the international or uh, national agency how powerful it was for them they witnessed themselves and testified to the fact of the power of the church that the churches were the ones that came together and made and made the difference and so you yeah. see what a power the church is in our community right. when we come together we right. can make some massive differences right. and i really am praying and I'm, I'm hoping that we don't have to wait for a crisis uh, to take some steps of faith, uh, as we mentioned earlier, this uh, Sunday, Pastor Jerry Orr and I are exchanging pulpits. Well, that's yes. that's a level. That's a level of interacting with our faith. But you know, I was impressed recently. I believe it was Grace Baptist that uh, put out a call to all of our churches. They they had someone drop thirty thousand pounds of green beans uh, on their facility there and invited all the churches come and get this produce, take it back to your congregation, mm -hmm. feed the people that need, help the people that are that, that need help. And you know, 30,000 pounds of green beans, a, a lot, lot of green of beans. Ho, 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 green it, I mean, it was, <laughs> but it was amazing to see, you know, that how all of us coming together have made a, such a huge difference. Right. And you know, in the, I've heard it said, I think by Rick Warren, pastor of a large church in California, Saddleback Church, writ, has written Purpose Driven Life, very powerful book. Yeah. Uh, he said the first reformation in the church was about uh, creed, what we believe. Back in the 1500s, Martin Luther, when he, this was what we believe. But he said there's another reformation transpiring right now in the church, and it's not about creed, it's about deeds. deeds. It's no longer why, re really what we believe, right. but it, which is important, but even sure. more important, what are we doing together? What right. are our deeds? And it's just exciting to see all the churches now coming together on many different levels uh, mm -hmm. to make a difference in our community. So I'm right. excited about yes, it. Yes, yes. If you're just now tuning in, folks, we were talking about how, you know, Pastor Kent and of Word Alive and Pastor Jerry Irwin of Harvest Church of God are swapping pulpits this coming Sunday. So we just want to reiterate that for in case you're just tuning in. That's an incredible uh, unification of, of just just a couple of churches. What if several churches came together mm -hmm. like you were mentioning? That'd be great. And uh, you know that's just that's an awesome thing. Well, folks, so stay tuned. We've got a musician spotlight coming up, and we've got a we've just added a uh, classic car showcase, oh, cool. and it's kind of spiritual because it's a Christian car coming up. It's a holy roller. <laughs> so, <laughs> so stay tuned, folks, and let's see who we've got this showcase on the classic car, the musician spotlight, and we'll be right back. Stay connected. connected. Having a wedding or a special event. Give Robert Reynolds a call to make your day sparkle with success. Here at Robert Reynolds, we offer tents, tables, chairs, linens, lounge furniture, and so much more. And also, we offer tuxedo rentals, where every tuxedo will make you look sharp for that special day. Let Robert Reynolds give you that service that you deserve because every day should be a special day and today is your day. I'm attorney Ray Bryan. I spend my time away from the office doing everything I can to take care of my family. And that same mentality comes to work with me every day. When I sit across from a client facing a divorce, a custody problem, injury, or other legal matter, my first thought is, what do I have to do to protect them? When you step into my office, you can rest assured that I'll do everything I can to protect your interest. Call the law, says the Raymond C. Bryant, today. Welcome in to Creation Salon, located at 600 Quintard Avenue, Anniston, Alabama. 
Great services for men and women. Haircuts, highlights, hair extensions, special occasion hair and makeup. Be sure to visit Creation Salon for your nail spa and your pedicure needs. Also tanning services. So be sure to visit Creations Salon. My name is Robin Ed. I'm from the Calhoun County area. Uh, I have a 1955 Chevrolet pickup truck, 3100 series. It took me six years to build it with budget and time, still working. Uh, I'm retired now. I finished it in time to have it in the 09 World of Wheels. I always wanted to have a vehicle nice enough to enter and I was really shocked. I got first place in my class. I thoroughly enjoy it. Really love to have a, a toy like this and drive it and enjoy it. I have a 79 Camaro subframe and rear end in it. And then I've got a 1970 396 Chevy Big Block. Been bored out 60 thousandths. It's 410 cubic inches now. Have a ton of RAM, two fours. Uh, have a Pete Jackson gear drive. MSD 6AL ignition. Uh, got power steering, power brakes, and of course the vintage air and heat. Keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And I drive it year round. Be sure to go out to Jacksonville Auto Sales and see the great selection of vehicles that they have there for you. We're talking about sports cars, family cars, and trucks of many varieties. Be sure to get out there and see them at Pelham Road South, Jacksonville, just across from the Jacksonville Walmart. If you're listening to us from the Lincoln, Heflin, or Gadsden areas, be sure to make the drive because it is worth it. Go see Marty Boyles at Jacksonville Auto Sales, 256-365-16116.
opportunity is knocking We're ERA King Real Estate To buy or sell real estate today You need solutions that will pay Opportunity is knocking at your door It's what you're looking for Opportunity is knocking We're ERA Looking for a dependable cleaning company that you can trust with your home? Be sure to call Pound Martin at White Glove Cleaning Company. We give your house the White Glove Treatment. Licensed, bonded, and insured. Call today for free estimate. 239-7333 or 831-6577. White Glove. Welcome back, folks. We appreciate you for staying connected. And we welcome you back into the Community Connection TV show. And if you're just now tuning in, we've been talking about a lot of stuff. You have got to go to the Facebook uh, version of our show to catch up on it because there's too much to tell you about, and it's good stuff. So be sure to go on Facebook, type in those two words right there, local TV show, two words. Type those in. We'll pop right up number one. You'll be able to view this episode in its entirety, and you'll be able to see what Kent and I have been talking about. Of course, just reiterating real quickly. Uh, you know, Kent and Pastor Kent is a uh, pastor of, of Word Alive International Outreach in Cowater, WAIO, and uh, he is switching pulpits this Sunday with Pastor Jerry Irwin from Harvest Church of God. And that is just an amazing situation, amazing uh, 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 unification. Uh, just, just a something, just, 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 just cool. Let's just say that. It's Thank just you. Cool we're we're looking forward to it. And we, you know, that's my heart. Unification of, of the Christian body. I mean, that's that's a lot of people's heart. I think that's something God is putting really birthing in people right now that we we all want to see happen. We know it's His heart. I mean, that's you know, you read the Book of Acts. That's where He wants it at. So, uh, but uh, Kent, just five, closing out last words. We wanted to do an entire episode on this book and what Kent's got going on with this, and we didn't. We just just took priority. No so problem. you're going to have to promise me Love to. that you'll come back. You're on camera, so you're you know I you're, promise. you got a problem, but you got to come back talk about this book and and, and the different things, the app, uh, and, and just real real quickly tell us a little bit about. It. We've got about two minutes. Tell okay. us what we can what 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 we can learn about this. Oh uh, well, I've uh, written a book. It's it's uh, I've got some copies out, but it's actually released nationally uh, in Feb in uh, the end of February, end of February, first uh, of March, and I'm possibly doing a book signing uh, locally here at. Book a million but it's uh, basically a uh, book I pray and the concept like iPhone uh, it's apps from above mm -hmm. prayer is such a huge uh, <laughs> yeah prayer is such a huge uh, tool that we have I uh, got turned on technology recently with an iPhone iPad and knew little about it and I, they were making fun of me because I do so little with the technology that I have right uh, and I realized prayers the same way I mean it's this massive uh, tool that God has given us uh, to communicate with him and to see and to see people's lives change and, right. and our own lives change. Right. Yet we know so little about it. So I wanted to write a book simple enough for maybe a teenager to get a hold of, yeah. uh, or or even a middle school student. But yet it's d deep enough for a, a strong fall of Christ to glean from. And so sure. it's simply I pray apps from above. And, apps from above. And it's just four four spiritual apps about prayer, easy to understand, uh, teaching from God's Word about how to pray. So I'm pretty yeah. excited about that. Now, I would like to mention just a couple of community outreach since you're so strong in community. Sure, sure. We have Project 58 where we feed the hungry uh, mm -hmm. every second Saturday at our church. For, to find out more about information about that, you can go to project58serve.org. Yes, we're putting it uh, over right there. We'd love everybody. to have people, to, you know, the, if you need help in our community or like to volunteer time to serve uh, the mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. we'd love to do love for you to participate in that. And then we have a great ministry, Celebrate Recovery, which is for anybody recovering from, we call them hurts, hangups, or habits. Right. Uh, we deal with a lot of uh, folks recovering from addictions. Mm -hmm. And it's on Friday nights at uh, from 5.30 to 7.30. We serve a beautiful meal free of charge. That's at Word Alive at Word International Alive. Co Water, mm -hmm. just off I-20. Right. Yeah. And uh, we serve a beautiful meal. We have a worship service and then small groups. Uh, to where you can really connect and find recovery. So it's, yes. these are these are things we want to use to serve the community with. Exactly, exactly. And those those are things that are such a big service. And I've and really enjoyed being here with you today. Yeah, Thank you for letting yeah, me come. Man, we have really enjoyed having you, and we love you, and, and want you to come back and be with us, share your heart. Uh, and 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 if if you, there's a pastor out there that's got a heart for the community, you want to share a unique story, or you've got something special going on. Be sure to send us an email, give us a phone call, let us know what's going on. We welcome you on the show. 
Uh, you know, we cover many, many topics, but if it's connecting to the community or it's relating to the community, we want to hear from you. Uh, everything from the interesting hobbyist to the person that's doing uh, massive work in the community and helping people. And I'll, and I'll just throw this in just at the end here. I uh, recently heard a guy on the street corner shouting, uh, you know, uh, 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 judgment's coming, God is going to get you, your sin, will find, your sin will find you out. And then I see people that's loving people and feeding them and teaching them about Christ, which is going to reach the people the most. I mean, what's going to reach them? I believe love. I saw what Jesus did in through the Word, and I saw Jesus touch the people. Mm. I saw Jesus feed the people. I saw Jesus teach the people. I didn't see Jesus screaming at people, unless it was the people in the religious leaders that were wrong. Well, that's so, true. <laughs> you so, said it. <laughs> I, well, yes, I said it. I said it. I said that, folks. But, uh, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it said it too. So, but Kent, man, I appreciate Thanks, you Mark. so much again. Privilege. And be with us. Talk about this book some more, especially before the book signing. If we can get you on, we'll let the community know. And, folks, be sure and stay connected. <laughs>